What is going on world? Welcome back once again, my name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. On today's video, we've got Zor's location and inventory for all the intros. Let's get straight into the video and I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, sorry about that, just had to kill that guy right there. So, Zor's location and inventory, Tentacle Bastard is on IO, chilling up the back here in the corner like he always does. See what he's got for the inventory this weekend, is it anything good? Well, starting things off, yes, very decent. Pick this up, just pick it up, 23 legendary shards, don't worry about what it does, pick it up. Well, I'll tell you what it does. Main perk on it, Kite and Senses. Standing in the Rift grants an enhanced radar and marks high priority targets for you and your allies. So, if you're using this in Crucible, you can see through walls. Literally, you can see through walls. It is seriously, seriously OP. Pick it up, 23 legendary shards. Yeah. Moving on, we have the Kepri's Horn for the Titan. Now, this thing actually is... Pretty decent, 23 legendary shards for this main perk of a solar rampant. Solar kills recharge your barricade and unleash a blast of solar energy when summoned. I will say, last week's Nightfall, this thing was pretty good to use. I will say like it was almost OP tier for the Titan. Pick it up if you have not got it, 23 legendary shards. Moving on, we have the Faux Tracer for the Hunter or Huntress. 23 legendary shards for this amazing exotic, which has the main perk, Relentless, Relentless Tracker. Visually marks targeted enemies and deals more damage to low health marked targets. So, or enemies. So, keep in mind if you're using this and you have a person on your fire team who is using the Sanguine Alchemy while actually in Crucible, this thing can melt. It is literally just a melting thing. I love it, pick it up if you've not got it, 22 legendary shards, moving on to the weapon of the week, we have the Vigilance Wing, which I've just been hating on since Iron Banner had started, because everyone is using this thing, 20 legendary shards for this amazing exotic which has harsh truths. This weapon fires a 5 round burst, when nearby allies he is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed. So yeah, when you've got 6 team members and someone dies, and you've got 5 team members, you are now taking up that slot for being like a 6th team member. If more than one person has this on it, it's just, yeah, it's not good. For team shotting, this thing is amazing if you're using it with a good team. I'd suggest making sure you are using this in Iron Banner because it is amazing. But if you want to kind of, you know, go away with the meta, go something else, but this thing is just, it's beastly. Secondary perk being last standing, improved weapon performance and greatly increased recovery when the wielder is the last living a fire member team. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Anyway, pick it up if you have not got it. Once again, 29 legendary shards. For the consumables of the week, we have three of coins. 31 legendary shards for one three of coins. Pick these up if you want to get more exotics. We also have the five of swords challenge card. Pick it up if you have not got it in itself as well. And the faded engram, which is 97 legendary shards. I am on my warlock this week and it does say I've already claimed it because this video did actually not record because Elgato didn't want to record. Anyway, I ended up getting myself the Huckleberry. Yes, the Huckleberry. I was really actually, I was excited about this thing because the Huckleberry is amazing. The actual whole ride the bull increase rate of fire and recoil while holding down the trigger kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine is really nice. Along with the ricochet rounds which is just for fun. The rampage which is just amazing and short action stock which is just yeah. Anyway, this is the Huckleberry. This has been Zach Novak. This has been Zor's location and inventory for the week. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Do all the good stuff. And I'll be cheering like Karen if he was in Sharon. Let me know, do you guys get anything from Zor? Did you get anything good from the Fated Engram? Do all that good stuff. And until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off. Peace out.